Yes, everything is okay. So it's time to close this uh, very intense uh, um, meeting of LACNIC 34, LAC, uh, LACNOC 2020 in its 10th uh, anniversary, and I'm going to show you the usual statistics. First of all, a recap of uh, some of the highlights of this week. We started last Friday with six tutorials, IPv6, interconnection, DNSSEC, network security with RPKI, Milaknik uh, tutorial, and hands-on policies for the public policy forum process. We then had a public policy forum on Tuesday with five proposals that were debated. And uh, on Tuesday too, we had Casey Claffey as a keynote speaker. We also uh, awarded the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award for LACNIC 2034 um, uh, and LACNOC 2020. We also had a session on leadership and communication with IT women and uh, the action, the participation of women in the life of LACNIC. And then we had panels celebrating the 10th anniversary of LACNOC and today, Frida's. Some technical presentations too. There were some technical presentations in uh, for LACNOC and LACNIC this week, and some, and they also disclosed the results of the IPv6 challenge and were saying who the winners were. And then Kevin talked about the uh, Leaders 2.0 project. So some of the new things that we tried to introduce this week we tried to favor those interactions that we have lost in this online uh, uh, format that are somehow essential for the creation of a community. On the one hand, we had the virtual uh, trade um, show with our sponsors and also the virtual booth of LACNIC in this uh, ex trade show, but where we say not just who we are, but we also try to solve questions, uh, to solve problems, and uh, uh, and uh, offer you some of the initiatives of LACNIC. And then we also tr uh, uh, tr try to discuss some of the things that are happening in such strange time for all of us, and we introduced simultaneous interpretation to the three languages, as is usually the case, in our in-person event. We also had a social event, Rock Night. And, and uh, well, we made an attempt to allure our uh, uh, participants in a virtual event. And the host was did a brilliant work and I think she succeeded. That was an interesting thing. And then we also had the Kahoot challenges to discuss the topics in addition to the YouTube streamings for those of you who had not registered or authenticated in the registration. Um, some uh, data of day-by-day -day participation. We started very energetically, but uh, uh, as time goes by, people get exhausted. And this is reflected each day. If we saw the details, we have the Zoom users, we had, they ranged from 244 to 400 authenticated users. In YouTube, we had about um, from 100 to 200, but here we only have IPs. So people behind NATS may be affected. The participation seems smaller because of that. And finally, we had from 400 to 600 participations uh, in uh, this event, which gets quite close to the in-person events. 
some other data on the participation, some topics. Well, I already mentioned this on YouTube. Kahoot participations, 427 participants overall. The visits to the trade show of our sponsors, over 1,000 single users and about 8,763 visits total, counting, well, some people um, visited twice. And the visits to the LACNIC stand, 360 interactions. And then we have some more data on engagement of people in the social media, in Instagram and Facebook for, for these, uh, for the filters of the challenges, the t-shirts and some other uh, prizes uh, to engage people so that they could uh, experience uh, um, a virtual event better. Finally, I want to warmly thank the programs committee and the board of LACNOG for the interest that they show and for their engagement, putting together an agenda that is not easy at all. And especially under these circumstances, it's not easy to put together such an attractive uh, agenda. We succeeded in um, um, finding interesting things for all uh, the audience. I also want to thank the authors of uh, uh, policies who engage and uh, devote part of their time for the sake of the community. The chairs of the policy uh, public policy forum, we are aware of how difficult it is to do that job with the end of the, the uh, trainers of the, the tutorials. We included a lot of tutorials this time, trying to um, be do it as similar as in person as possible. Those of you who participated in the uh, IPv6 challenge committee, well, I want to thank you. I want to thank all the volunteers who donate part of their time, always in an attempt to work for an engaged community. We also want to thank the transcription and uh, simultaneous interpretation teams that uh, helped us uh, uh, have an event as close as possible to our in-person events. Thank you for helping us uh, out in this modality. And all the participants that were so patient and uh, honored us with their interest. We hope we'll have you in the near future, both uh, online or in person. And our sponsors, Nick Brazil, Facebook, Netflix, Google, Icon, Red Clara, Project uh, Manners, IPv6 Academia, AWS, IPv4 Mall, IP Broker, Amos, IX, uh, Huge Networks, ISOC, all of you, thank you for your trust. And we hope that this was a productive week for you too. And of course, I want to thank all the staff who worked tirelessly all these months to make this meeting possible, to introduce all these uh, new things and to try to make up for uh, what we lost and uh, to recover the culture of our events. And so I want to thank the staff uh, who also uh, work with many other activities in person that usually the, we, they don't uh, do and they were creative uh, um, in these efforts. So the next event, if possible, next year, we'll see each other in LACNIC 35, Veracruz, Mexico, it will be a pleasure to see you there from May 10th to 14th, hopefully in person, because we need it. We need to build 
not just the technical concepts, but also person-to-person uh, -person interactions, which are absolutely necessary for us if we want to build trust. We need to be able to speak to each other to reach a common uh, goals. And I think that events like this are just the appropriate place uh, for that uh, construction. So with that, I want to thank you for your patience, for being with us until today, Friday, a very long, very long event. It is, uh, I think that an online event in a week, I think it's, it's uh, the equivalent to one month in person event. So thank you.